I was surprised. Why illegal? We work with this. Certain electric mopeds and motorcycles are now banned from Quebec's roads, and they are no longer allowed to be used on sidewalks and bike paths after a surprise announcement from Quebec's Auto Insurance Board Tuesday. I don't know what, what uh, I will do in the future, so uh, it's very really disappointing. It's good for us to work with this, and uh, it's uh, electric. We don't pay gas. It was a daily occurrence, and our community kept telling us how they didn't feel comfortable and safe uh, having to share the bike lanes with these um, devices. You could see it on regular bike paths in the city. You could see it on the Jacques Cartier Bridge, for example. And it felt like police forces didn't really have the legal means to crack down on those. The SAC says that these types of unregistered vehicles are not certified to certain safety standards, and they pose a safety risk to users of sidewalks and bike lanes due to their size and the speeds they can reach. But for some selling them, like Rashid Farisi, owner of Zoom Ride in Montreal, he has to figure out what to do with about $180,000 of inventory that is no longer legal in the province. It's a negative impact in, on our business, especially we prepare the whole year for the season. And now in, in the middle of the, uh, of the season, they, they tell us you can't sell anymore. Farisi adds that many of his clients are international students who use these types of electric mopeds to work in the food delivery industry for companies like Uber Eats and DoorDash. They don't have a lot of money, so they choose this uh, machine to, to work as a, as a food delivery to afford paying the university or school and the, their rent also. Meanwhile, Vélo Quebec, a Montreal-based bicycle advocacy group, welcomes the new restrictions on these types of e-mopeds and motorcycles that have become more popular in recent years. E-mopeds and e-motorcycles um, create a level of discomfort, discomfort and a sense of insecurity for regular bike lane users. They are a lot heavier than regular bikes. They can also carry a second passenger, so everybody senses that in the event of a collision, it would uh, hurt a lot more. Fines range from $300 to $600 for those who use a prohibited vehicle on a public roadway. So we're going to wait for police forces to be active on this matter now that they have all the legal to, uh, tools to do so. I think they, they need to review the rule and uh, for us, we, we, must, uh, we must have it. In Montreal, Gareth Maddox-Jones, City News.